So even since I've been here, I have been prone to a bit of overeating because it's this emotional thing. And it's also... So how would you define overeating? What do, what do you mean by mm, overeating? Yeah, let's start with that. Okay, I would say by having, um, let's say, not a lady's size. <laughs> and, and like really... Big uh, portions. Big, po- big mm. portions. And it's almost like I just bomb myself out. So eating I, fast? Eating it, really quickly? All of it. So yeah, just the whole thing. Fast and too much. And eating when you're hungry or not hungry? Well, because I'm hungry all the time. Because what, what Rupert said mm-hmm. to me is that being a pitter with, is that I've got a ferocious hunger, but because I'm so out of balance, I've got no fire. Yeah. So I'm living this reality of yeah. I want to eat like yeah. I'm a fucking footballer, like but a wharfy <laughs> love. <laughs> but you're not but, processing it. But I'm not processing it. So you're not it. getting the goodness out of what you eat. Exactly. And no. I think this is the reason why my armour... Yeah. And I also put it down to being a woman on my own without living without living with another yeah. human being, no yeah. family, no I think partner. That's true, yeah. It and you could so the, emo- the emotional component is quite strong. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well then you and you can tend to just shovel food in instead of yeah. I, I've got to remind myself to be with my food and to mm. and to connect with it and definitely not to be watching television. And chew. I mean if there's chew. ever a piece of advice oh, I would yes. say to everyone, chew, chew, what do you chew, mean? All, chew, the, till it's all the food I'm eating is liquid. Yeah, yeah. Of course. that's why. You've still got to because nobody chews anymore. That's why. So, what do you think of this journey with me? What you know, with this overeating emotional stuff. Well, the the emotional component, as you've described, your lifestyle is very relative, and of course, we look for satiety in our life and our mm. environment always outside of ourselves. And yeah. one of the ways of doing that is with food, but. If you want to change that, then you look for satiety mm. in other areas of your life. So meditation, being with friends, going for walks yeah, on the ocean, sure. doing the things that bring you joy and that it's will happening. fill you I other know, than that's food. That's the problem with me yeah. and joy, you know? Well, I can, what's the problem? Well, it's because it usually <laughs> takes a big fat joint. <laughs> And then I'm joyful. So, and now we're, back, now we're back into the habits. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. No, but not, not for a long time. But the thing is that I just exist. I have been just existing. Oh, I feel that something really new is coming okay, through. Yeah, the vitality like, is the vi- showing itself. Mm-hmm. It is, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. 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 Particularly yeah. in your eyes. eyes That's the first skin. place mm-hmm. that we see it as yeah. practitioners with people who yeah. have gone through programs, Varechana or Panchakarma. Is the brightness comes back? Yeah, yeah, brightness comes back into their eyes. They get a lot of clarity that yeah. comes through their eyes, yeah. and it's you get that penetrate penetrating look, which mm. is often pitta, and pitta is related to the eyes. Bit but of blue steel. That's yes. <laughs> do you love a good blue, blue steel? Oh, you can. <laughs> <laughs> love it for sure. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah, you do, and it's that digestion, as you mm-hmm. said, not just of your food. But even if you come back and think, okay, I'm fine, I'm missing, because some people obviously miss sweetness at certain stages, it doesn't mm-hmm. mean to say yeah. that you choose to find that sweetness in a in a bag of lollies. Natural confectionery. Yeah. <laughs> I've, got, I've, got, I've got a share in that company. Okay. <laughs> you can I, I, choose... My share's in lint. <laughs> my share's in, shares in that... Um, Marvellous creations. <laughs> <laughs> That's just shit, that no, stuff. No, it's so <laughs> not. I'll tell you Popping what. Candy. Hey. They fed Reaper and Lisa <laughs> fed me popping candy one and literally I thought my mouth was exploding. <laughs> I thought it was chocolate, but there was all this other <laughs> stuff that in my mouth. mouth. Yes, there yes. was. <laughs> anyway, I'm hoping sponsorship. But <laughs> what I was trying to say yeah. was you can find that in Ayurveda we talk about the taste of food. So there are some foods that are very, very good for you that have that sweet taste, like mm. milk, for example, dates, or dates, or root vegetables. They are sweet, mm. and but you know it's hard to believe, but they have the same ability to to nourish that craving for some sweetness in your life as a bag of lollies. Yep. Um, I have been finding the same thing because I've been eating carrots for the first time mm-hmm. and doing my pumpkin and kitchen. Yep, yep. And I'm saying all of this because it's important because it's my past. But the truth is, I do not feel like sugar at all. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which, which is, is fantastic. insane. Mm-hmm. I know. Next, I want to come back and we'll just do kind of like a roundup thing of all the ailments I've got. I want to talk about the pores, the menopause. Oh. <laughs> 